The Salem United Methodist Church welcomed guests into the Snively Chapel on Sunday for their annual Snively Chapel homecoming. The event is the first of only two times a year that the Snively Chapel, one of the oldest such chapels in eastern Kentucky, is open to the public. We met with guest speaker Rev. Julie Hager-Love, as well as church official Sandy Penix, to find out more about this historic location. This area was one of the first settlements in eastern Kentucky. Chris Daniel Boone was in this area, and the Leslie family. And so some of the Leslie family, which was one of the first families in this area, helped uh, start this church. Following this homecoming event, Penix notes that the public will still have one more chance this holiday season to visit the celebrated chapel for themselves. The other one is on Christmas. Uh, it's the first Sunday evening in December, and it's our Christmas uh, candlelight service. Of course, we've changed that now so that, you know, they're battery operated, but we do have a candlelight service. It's at 5 o'clock the first weekend in December. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Joining Penix at the chapel this weekend was guest speaker Rev. Julie Hager-Love, who also serves as president and CEO of the Kentucky Methodist Children's Homes. For Love, this chapel offers both a connection to her own family's local ties to the area, as well as an opportunity to join fellowship with residents in the community. I love the connection. So many children and families, I think, have incredible connections here. And what we try to do at the Children's Home is help children see those connections and know, let them know that people love them and that they are loved by God. So I love being able to be a place that has done that for so many people and also wants to support ministries like the Children's Home. We deeply appreciate all the support we get. Um, we try to, like I said, care for children, youth, and families so that they know they are loved, they know that they are not alone, and they know that other people and God love them as, loves them as well. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joshua Sloan.